Hey there, it's Radhika. Welcome to DataZan. I'm super excited to kick off this channel for spreading knowledge in regards to data analytics industry. Get ready for a video every Monday. If you like the content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today, I'm going to present my approach to words workout Wednesday 2024 week three power BI challenge. This challenge is regarding creating a bar chart where maximum values are highlighted. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing that we are going to do is import data. It's an Excel file. So click on import data from Excel, find the file, click on open. In this next dialog box, click on the sheet one because that's the sheet we're trying to import. Click on transform data. Power Query Editor will open. First thing that we are going to do is change the name of the table. So instead of sheet one, I am putting it as new year resolution. Then we're going to mark first rows as headers. After that, next thing is to transform, go to transform and I'm pivoting the other columns and then dividing the value by 100 to get the percentages right. Click on OK. And then, then just close and apply. Now in this view, we are going to add the visual, which is a bar chart. I'm just increasing the size here. So in Y axis, we add resolution and in X axis, we add the values. Um, for now, we are adding this value, but we are just going to change it in a bit. And then in small multiples, we are going to add attribute. In attributes, we only want the age groups. So we are selecting 18 to 24, 25 to 49, 50 to 64 and 65 and keeping all the gender fields unticked. And then we are going to add a new measure. This measure will be called as average value, which is essentially going to be the average of the value field. And now I am going to replace the x-axis with this newly added measure, which is essentially going to give the same result. Now, in the challenge, there are one rows and four columns. So in small multiples in the format section, we're going to replicate the same. We're just decreasing the size to look it, to make it look and feel nice turning off the titles, turning off y-axis titles, we're increasing the values of y-axis just a little bit for readability and we're turning off the titles in x-axis and turning off the values as well in x-axis. We are just trying to replicate what is mentioned in the challenge and then in the small multiples title uh, we're just adjusting the font size, um, sorry the font and also the font size, making it a little lighter and adjusting the alignment to be center aligned. And then we're going to create a measure for adding a conditional formatting I'm calling this measure as color. So first we are going to define a variable called average value, which is going to be um, the average value, the measure that we have created. Then another variable, which is max value. In the, um, in the challenge, hint was given to use all except. So that's what we are going to use here. So max x as an iterator and then it first requires a table so we are giving all except and then the first argument of all except is a table so we are going to provide the new year resolutions table and then the second is the um, column name all except which column so this is the attribute column 
and then we want to find the max value of average values measure so that's why we have added average values measure and then we're gonna put a return um, and then after that there will be an if statement if the average value is equal to max value then we are going to put it as one otherwise zero and then in the format section in bars we are going to click on the conditional formatting by uh, format style is by rules the field which we are going to choose is colors and if the value is equal to zero then it is a gray color so um, I'm just writing the hex code of that color and the next rule will be if the value of this color measure is equal to one then we are going to give it a blue color as shown in the challenge so this is the hex code for that blue color click on ok and it has started to look like something what the challenge is expecting us to do and now in the borders i'm just trying to um, update the borders as was shown in the challenge so again giving it the same color as my bars are adjusting the size a little bit so now in the upper section there was some text so i'm going to go to home and then before that um, we are going to adjust the tooltips so instead of average of value challenge had a tooltip called value instead of attribute it should be age so i'm just renaming it for the visual it looks nice the only thing is value has to be a person so we go to the average measure click on the percentage make it um, zero decimals and that's it this looks pretty neat now adding a text box we adding new year resolution and then just adjusting the font color giving it a little gray tone and then adjusting the size adjusting the alignment and bringing it a little down so that it aligns well with our chart next we are going to adjust the background so updating the background to the gray color and then keeping the transparency as 50 percent and then again we're going to copy this to create the second um, text box i'm just going to adjust the size and then i have the text written so i'm just going to copy paste it so i don't have to type it in front of you and this is what the text is adjusting the alignment updating the font and then changing the font colors again adjusting the size adjusting the font color it looks neat next thing we're doing is updating i'm adding a bar at the end and so it's a workout wednesday challenge Twenty twenty four, week three, and giving credits where they are due. I'm just going to adjust the font color and increase the size of this text field a little bit so everything looks in proportion. And that's it. This completes the solution.
Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.